Hi guys, it's Daniel here, and today I'm going to talk about something called mass points. So mass points is an, uh, a problem-solving strategy in math that comes from physics. Let's say we have a seesaw here. We have two weights on the end. Say this weight is A and this weight is B. We also know the two lengths here, C and D. Now, when the seesaw is balanced, elementary physics tells us that A times C equals B times D. This surprisingly also works in geometry problems if we apply weights on each of the points. Now, one, one thing is that A times C equals B times D. Another rule is that this middle point right here has the weight A plus B. This is pretty intuitive because if one end is A and then the other end is B, then the center would be the combined weights. So with these two rules in mind, we can continue to solve this problem. Let's first delete this stuff. Okay, so the problem statement says that says that AT divided by DT equals 3. So if this is 3, then this is 1. And BT divided by ET equals 4. So if this is 1, this is 4. With this in mind, let's Let's add some weights. First, say that a, a has a weight of 1. If that's it, if that's the case, then D has a weight of 1 times 3 divided by 1 equals 3. Now, and T has a weight of 4. Let me first get weight. I'll change color for clarity. One, oops, that's bad. Let's see, one, three, and four. Now, how do we find point B and point E? Well, let's say that point B has a weight of x. Then point E has a weight of x times four divided by one, which is four x. And we also know that x plus 4x equals the weight of t, which is 4. So x equals 4 fifths. So now we can replace x and 4x with 4 fifths. And 4 times 4 fifths is 16 over 5. And now we can find the weight of C by either subtracting, well, subtracting 4 fifths from 3 or 16, I mean 1 from 16 over 5. So doing either of those calculations gives C ha having a weight of 11 over 5. Now we're almost done. We want to find the ratio CD to BD. So, if, if CD times 11 over 5 equals BD times 4 over 5, we can divide by BD and divide by 11 over 5 on both sides to get CD over BD equals Let's see, 4 over 5, all of that over 11 over 5. These two 5s cancel out, and we get the answer of D, 4 over 11. Hey guys, Zong here. And Daniel here. Back with another logarithm video. Someone suggested we should quickly run through the properties of logarithms.